A performance. Performance! EMA 7 Premium. 215 horsepower, 320 newton meters of torque. Okay. Yeah. 215, 320. Yeah. Ah, yeah, enough lah. It's enough. Uh, because anything above 200 horsepower is actually a lot already. Yeah. Right? And back in my day, <laughs> anything above 250 Nm at all is sports car. Yeah, you are you are being treated yeah. to a fun ride. Lah. Right, yeah. right. Okay, uh, in normal driving, comfortable, um, it, it cruises quite well. Lah, huh? Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, never in the history of Malaysia were you able to get a car this quiet and this comfortable for like 120. Five. 20 years ago, this is Rolls Royce level ride, quietness and quality. Yeah. A and you have, to, you have to think about uh, road tax, can mm. I afford this car? Mm. Maintenance, can I afford this car? Yeah. This one is like, it's an EV. It's, it's <laughs> Nothing is moving except for the little yeah. motor. It has a very Chinese quality though. I still yeah, feel that, that bounce. Ah, that, that bounce a yeah. bit Chinese, huh? A bit Chinese. Uh, Proton said they did something to it, but how to verify? Ah, okay. Because I f it feels very Chinese. Yeah. I don't say that as a bad thing, but from a dynamic perspective, it's not great. Yeah. Because this is very good for straight road driving on a highway. Yeah. Wait, I put it this way, lah. The Serai handling by Lotus era of Proton is over. It's over, la. With the R three closure, yeah. it's gone. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I really don't think Proton, if they did anything at all here, mm. I don't think it was enough to change the character of this car. Of the car. Yeah. The car is very Chinese. It's very Chinese. Very, very Chinese. Chinese. Now, uh, for an enthusiast, they might complain this, complain that. Yeah. But for 80% of the general public, comfort or not? Comfort. Yeah. Quiet or not? Quiet. Easy to handle or not? Damn easy. Yeah. Uh, does it feel funny? Not at all. Yeah. No mistakes. No right. mistakes. No funny problem. Mm. Uh, it's just not inspiring to chuckle. Ah, it's not Germanic. Yeah. Remember our first, one of the earlier Proton reviews? Yeah. Persona and Iris. Yeah. The Iris, la, we did the manual. Yeah. One. That was a chuckable car. Yeah. But not so fast, damn noisy. So right? noisy, terrible. Not, all not sorts the kind of, of, shape, of car you all should, sorts of yeah. noise, right? But they did have the that magic, that that magic suspension. Wah, wah. Yeah. That part is gone. La. But does that part add value to your drive every day? I don't think so. La. Actually, no. Because you don't want to go down the route of Alfa Romeo. <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> you, you are completely irrelevant in yeah. today's society if you're Alfa Romeo. Yeah. I'm telling you. What a speed or what chuck into corner go buy a sports car. La. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, this car can uh, give you some pretty dirty speed. But yeah. it doesn't encourage you to go fast. There's a slight delay mm. in the accelerator. Oh, you're in comfort. Oh, normal lah. Okay. okay, never mind. We see how. Try spot. <laughs> okay, tighten up the yeah. the uh, the throttle response. Wow, the balance! I l this is one thing I love about EV. Yeah. Take the most funky looking non sporty EV and chuck it into the corner. Yeah, and you will you will extract. Something that is almost sports sedan like yeah. out of it. You know, BMW, Audi, you try all all their life, their difficulty trying to balance their chassis. A blur EV guy go around like, uh, balance, balance everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not the kind of performance where you complain because it's like, ah okay, this is more than I expected at this price. The thing I would complain about, the thing that I didn't expect is the NVH. I I got a lot of exterior noises coming in, leaking oh. in that I didn't expect. Even with this closed, uh, we were shooting something and my boss was outside here. He was okay. like, maybe like five feet away from the car, talking at normal volume and it, it sounded like he was in the car. It's the rubbers. Huh? I don't know what it is, but normally in EVs of this class, it's whisper quiet inside. Right. But here I'm hearing a little bit more than I expected. Huh? Okay. It's not bad. It's definitely better than other things in this price. Right. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure like even a CX-5 would isolate noise a bit better than this I from the outside. Not talking about the electric motor and all that. Okay. Mm. Just from the outside. The bike sounds. So the, the only performance part where I was a little bit disappointed was the, the NVH sometimes. NVH, like, uh, a bit went, louder than you expected. A bit louder than I expected. But I mean, what a complete, right? <laughs> you, if you're coming from a Vios to this, it's already like a massive jump up. I love the sound of the spooling. <laughs> I remember watching Gattaca and they had sounds like that <laughs> when the cars move. And the best part is they, they don't have to fake it, you know. Yeah, it's not it's like real one. A few other things to note, when the car first was launched, you know you have that pedestrian sound to yeah. warn them? Yeah. It was an ice cream truck. <laughs> oh! 
<laughs> on the outside. On the outside. But it was annoying as heck. Yeah. So everybody complained and then they switched they, switch it. It. they switched it to a very generic kind oh. of uh, you can actually choose like, the sound you want. I see. There's basically three and they all sound kind of like space age, the noises. But they kind of disappear. So you hear it somewhere in the distance. Oh. But it's not really very prominent anymore. Mm. I have some complaints. I think this is semi um, design related, semi performance related. So when you start up the car every single time, you have to go to vehicle settings, you have to go to driver assist, you have to go intelligent reminders, then you have to go to speed limit alert and close it. If not, it's very noisy. Otherwise, every time you go even one kilometer above the speed limit. Why, why can't they allow you to? Yeah, to persistently it, yeah. shut it off. So if you're listening, Proton, this is the next update. You got to make it persistently off. Remember my settings. Mm. Remember how I like it mm. and keep it that way. Mm. Because a lot of the settings in here, you can go and customize, but the moment you turn the car on again, it goes. Uh, off, I forgot yeah. everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and your Proton, you're not like uh, MG or Haval or something like that, where you're like, oh, I'm just taking the Australian spec. And oh. yeah, their rules say we have to do this. Oh. Your Proton, we don't have this. We rules. don't have rules. <laughs> Uh, besides that performance, my only other complaint is yeah, a little bit of intrusion from, from outside noise. You are right, like, it's a bit it's noisier it. than it should be. Than it should be, right? Eh? But it's, it's, it's not more than a petrol yeah, car. Yeah, correct, correct. Mm. Just that we've driven so many EVs where it's mm. like... It's completely bending. quiet. Uh. Yeah, quietness. Yeah. Here it's not. Like. Besides that, and that complaint, performance-wise, I love the way the car drove. Not the most inspiring to drive fast, but I don't need to. La. I'm like 35 years old, I don't need to prove anything on the road. Uh -huh. And if I need to squirt past a 3 Series, I have enough uh, juice to do it. Right. It's not a slow car. Yeah, so performance for me is like a 4.25, 4.3. Mm. It's a good car. Mm. Performance-wise for me, it's very Chinese. It has its, it's, its character. Yeah. It's very comfortable. It's good mm. in everything it does. Yeah. It's not a sports car, but it shouldn't be also. Um, my score is 4.2. Mm. You really can't complain. Could it be a bit faster? Possible. Uh, but not necessary. Mm. Could it be a bit quieter? Yeah, sure. But if this is your only car, you're not going to complain. Does it handle well? It handles competently. Mm. You know, uh, Without character. Uh, competent without character. Because we drive so many German cars, oh, there's always quite character. Competence is baseline, right? There's yeah. always a character to it. Right? A lot of Chinese cars don't have a character to their handling. Yeah. They all are competent or not competent. So if they're competent, is that a character? Usually there's not much. Yeah. You know? But then again, the balance is there. You know, I, I took it around the bend. I, I managed to make all four tyres scream. <laughs> but I feel safe, right? Yeah. You know that the system is running. You know that the car is balanced. Yeah. So I really come from 4.2. Huh? Yeah, I put it this way. Like, this one is like the, the generic thing that does everything well. Yeah. You want a bit more fashion, you get the Zika ah. X. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zika X is... You get a smaller car, but yeah. you know, it's, it's it, easier there's a bit of funk. Ice, uh. Uh, yeah. It's like, woo! Yeah. Oh, cool. Then you want the, the one that is a bit crazy, you get the Brabus. Yeah. Then you want the one that actually drives the best, you get the EX30. Yeah. There, there's just one problem. Very often uh, uh, people say, oh, when you buy a car, you want to look uh, as you walk away from a car, you want yeah, to look back. <laughs> That's what you get from the Zika. Right? Yeah. Right, uh. Uh, this car not so much. Yeah. <laughs> you back, so is, that, is that my car? <laughs> is that a seat <laughs> and, and literally just now when I went to, I charged the car in my tech. Yeah. And there was another grey EMA 7 next oh. to me. Oh, <laughs> so no. this car is going to be so popular that when you look back and you, oh, oh, which one is that? <laughs> <laughs> which one was it again? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's the issue. Yeah. So uh, performance done. What about value? value. Okay. This is one one. This is one two four. One two four. Yeah, with some discount going on, so be because I, I said originally, uh, if they sell one hundred thousand for the baseline, one one five for the upper line, mm. I would call that good lah. Yeah. Um, I know they, they 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 understand the market very well. They knew exactly how much they can push you. Yeah. Before you snap, right? That's why they are not selling me lah. It's as simple as that. Right uh, No lah. I, I disagree. Of course, you want them to do it. Yeah. But of course they don't. They sh they have no obligation to do it. That's why. Why they should they do? It? That, that that's exactly the problem. Because even BYD Malaysia was like, oh yeah, we just match our one one something. Yeah. One one eight. I don't know. Yeah. They have to put a little bit of margin so that they can discount it later. You realize that Xiaomi SU7 never gave a discount. But Xiaomi is it's a two two fold thing, you know. One they are making the car. 
Mm. They are. They have something to prove. You're right. You're right. Uh, because because we have to think that these these are not manufacturers. Yeah. These are importers. Exactly. Technically speaking, importers. They don't control the volume of yeah. this, uh, the the amount that they make. So this much they can make, they can make. Yeah. It's true. That's the mentality. That's the problem with here mm. is that these guys are not the manufacturer. But here's the thing: Proton is supposed to become the manufacturer. Yeah. So your pricing directly affects how many you need to sell. Man. Because you see, as an importer, you only have 200 units or 400 units this quarter. And these 400 units either can turn into 50 million or can turn into 40 million. Ah. It's your decision. Yes. You get what I mean? But here's the thing if you're a manufacturer, then 400 units is not the limit. Yeah. yeah. How many you can build? Sure, I can make 40 million, but I can times two this, I make 80. Mm. You get what I mean? Yeah. But that is a situation that you have to do when you are not in a unique position that Proton is in. Mm. Proton is in that unique position where they can price it lower than any of their rivals. Bar maybe BYD. You know what I mean? So they're in that situation where. Well, what makes you think BYD can price it lower than this? Because there's no way BYD can compete with Proton by right. Lah. Mm. Because you have importer, then you have distributor. You get what I mean? Yeah. Proton is currently importer, distributor problem, but it's supposed to reach a point where it becomes manufacturer full stop yeah. or assembler full stop. <laughs> and then here's the thing your principal is also your company. Mm. You get what I mean? So, from a cost point of view, there's no way they're supposed to be more expensive than BYD. Mm. And I know for a fact that the Atto tree is already overpriced, even at 119000 uh, So, these guys are... Uh, they're, they're, they're exploiting a unique position. La. But mm. their mandate is to maximize profit for the shop. Of course, of course. Yeah. Okay. It's not, I'm not defending them, yeah. but I see where they're coming from. Yeah. Mm. But, but to be honest, mm. this is... How much? Uh, this is about... 8,000 higher than I, I think is a correct pricing, mm. a, a competitive pricing, uh, which means that out of the 8,000, there's a bit of margin or leeway. Uh, are they still giving discount? Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> you see or not? <laughs> you see. <sighs> Perpetual one, discount. 124 with how much? 4,000. Uh, something 120. Like 4, 000, yeah. So there you go. If you sell at one twenty honest honest, you don't have to do this discount la, this la, that. This is what I meant. Su seven never changed price despite China price war four times, mm-hmm. never. And that's where I think my score is for this car. I said one hundred one one five. They end up being one o eight one two four. Yeah. Which is eight thousand give or take higher than I expected. Eight thousand out of one hundred twenty thousand is five percent la. Now five percent. It's okay lah. It's not great. Because initial indicated price was higher than Oh, higher. They said they wanted to start at 120. I said, you're going to die lah. You start at 120. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to die lah. Because it came clean profit or something like that. Yeah, la. yeah. If they start at 120, that means this would be one, almost 140, 138 or something like that. Mm. Right? Cannot lah. That yeah. one is too much lah. But they end at 124. Yeah. That's okay. That has always been an okay ending. Um, with all this, with all this. Uh, I will give the value 3.8. Mm. It's almost good. Yeah. Uh, but if you, if you are 4,000 less as per your discount, that's 4. <laughs> <laughs> if you are 8,000 less, that's 4.5. Yeah. Uh, okay, fair. Yeah. I'll come at it at a more practical point of view. Yeah. You see, you are thinking from the point of view of an enthusiast who will not buy an EV full price. Yeah, <laughs> you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You're the extreme, extreme scrutiny yeah, I, end of, of things. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I cannot. Yeah. Yeah. I'm coming from the point of view of if I have no idea what's going on on this planet, right. I'm that blur case uncle right. who is like, oh, EV was... That's that? why I exist. Yeah. So, that, <laughs> that, that's why, that, that, so that you don't become the blur case who yeah. thinks that 120000 for this is jato dari yeah. <laughs> durian jato. <laughs> it's not. It's okay. Right? It's not durian jato. Subjectively speaking, in yeah. this market, given the conditions that Malaysians are hmm. used to, the, the the Stockholm syndrome ah, the 2015 mm. mindset la. that mindset right this car is honestly a 4.9 mm. it's so, in value it's so far out in value that yeah. you cannot bring it mm. for 120 that's cheaper than a Civic mm. Mm. cheaper than a Corolla mm. or, or if or, you're coming from that perspective ah, only 10k more than a Vios but the reality is <laughs> the reality is if yeah. this car is taxed properly this would have been 220,000 ringgit yes yes exactly but I mean, just just for this little brief period yeah, of time, right? Yeah. This car is what okay. You know that that Honda City Hybrid is a hundred and six or hundred and seven thousand ringgit. Yeah. They're telling you this is ten k more than yeah. that. 
this is a world <laughs> in a different class of product. Yeah. Know? In terms of size, refinement, yeah. power, everything. It makes that car looks like such a zero star value yeah. next to it. Yeah. That this is an instant. You you are right. right. You are right. But we all know. You see, once you gain knowledge, you cannot unknow. <laughs> we know yeah. it's 120,000 because it's supposed to be 220,000. Yeah. You got know what I mean? Then nobody will buy this because then you're asking Toyota Camry price. Mm. Right? In my eight, don't want to think too much about yeah. it mindset, it's a very high fall. Sir. For what? 4.8, 4.8. 3.8. 3.8. Value yeah. la, 3.8. You, you 3.8 Okay, uh, yeah, if you're objectively looking at yeah. it, look at his score. <laughs> if you don't know anything about life, <laughs> look at <my> score. <laughs> 4.8. Both can be correct, it's your, your version of truth. La. Correct, correct. Because you know, it depends on what you're coming from. Because to be honest, 120,000 get you what? Uh, Honda HRV. HRV base model. Base model. Yeah. 115 for the non turbo version. Yeah. Honda is crying, you know. But this is not fair to me! Without the taxes, my car is 75,000! <laughs> Government was like, mm -hmm, not my problem. <laughs> yeah. But uh, the reason why this is so is because of no tax. Uh. Yeah. I know. And you're getting good value for what you pay for. Yeah. But we, because of the. Because I keep looking at cars, I become spoiled. And I expect this value. Yeah. So, Autofile signing, signing out. out. The Chinese love this two-spoke thing. Yeah. I wonder why. I, I think I know why. I, I need to get into their head space one, in order to understand this. Mm. Because when I first saw this in the in the Xiaopeng, yeah. I'm like, what the fuck is the ugliest? You know? They didn't do it right because it's such a weird shape. It was a bit odd. Yeah. Then here, the shape is okay. Mm. Then I start seeing a lot of Chinese cars actually do this. You know? I asked myself why. Because it's close to what a pilot. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's the least amount of spokes you can have. Uh, well, you can do one spoke. Didn't Citron or someone did? Yeah, do dangerous, one. bro. Because up here go. Bend down. <laughs> this is the minimum, mm. m least intrusive amount of spokes. Mm. Because the whole idea is this is supposed to go away. Mm. <laughs> I still don't get it. <laughs> yeah. Where's the Kool Aid? Did you <laughs> <laughs> is it my car? <laughs>